taxi out. Can you both hear me? Yes, she can. Okay, put it on, let's go. You keep the wings level. You don't have to turn, this does nothing on the ground, remember? Mm -hmm. Alright, so first we're going to listen to the weather. Every hour... The one zero zero at six. out to the runway. Mm -hmm. This is our call letters, 882 Foxtrot. Okay. Van Nuys Ground, from an 882 Foxtrot, coming out of Alpha 1, and uh, we're for 1-6 right. From an 882 Foxtrot, Van Nuys Ground, verified Foxtrot, runway 1-6 right, attack to Alpha. We got Foxtrot, 1-6 right, via Alpha 882 Fox. Alright, so on the ground, you're really just using the top of the pedal, not like this, but just like this. Okay, one left or right, not, yeah. not two at the same time. Yeah, well two at the same time if you want to fly straight. Uh -huh. Now we'll change over to... Clear cross, one six left, hold through, one six right, five broadcast. Commander A. Julia, contact the other tower, one two zero point two for the panel. Contact you, one two zero point two, Commander A. Julia. Kenny G is playing. You know who Kenny G is? Uh, like Saxophone player? Landing on the water. Oh, Kenny, Kenny G is playing? Yeah. You mean the singer? Yeah. yeah. He's a saxophone player, actually. Oh, yeah, saxophone. Yeah, this. See that double line up here? Yeah. You never cross that without permission. So we pull up to it. We're going to let that jet go first. Mm -hmm. We're going to call the tower and tell them we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Van Nuys Tower. We're on an 82 Foxtrot, ready at 16 right for a left downwind depart left crosswind departure. Clear jet five Bravo Charlie, one way one six right, quick takeoff. Okay. One six right, clear for takeoff five Bravo Charlie. Where's the Grummer with uh eight eight two five cut? Eight eight two five cut ready uh one six right for left turn out over the base. Talk to Burbank. Right now switch up. Eight eight two five shot right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. You can hear me good too, right? Yes. Okay, so when we get out on the runway after the jet takes off, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to hold the nose down until we're ready to fly. We don't go like this, but we just hold it a little okay. pressure. We're going to get about 65 or 70, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pull up. Okay. As we pull off the runway, you can't, you, you got to give it enough to get up in the air. Once we get up in the air, we push a little bit forward, mm -hmm. and you're going to see those mountains over the nose. Mm -hmm. If you keep the top of the nose, even with the top of the mountains in your sight, mm -hmm. it'll We'll be at 80 knots. 80 knots. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's this button for? Talk. Okay. Guns. Fire. <laughs> this Number 82 Foxtrot, squawk 0254. Caught you 8 turn into the parking meter jet. Runway 16 right, clear for takeoff. 16 right, clear for takeoff, 0254 in the box. Rolling. You two fox. All right, so we'll close this now mm -hmm. so we don't scare her back there. You can actually fly with it open. Okay. So I'm going to go out on the runway now. Mm -hmm. It is kind of warm out today, so. Once we get around the corner, mm -hmm. we're going to give it full throttle. You keep the wings level. Mm -hmm. None of this. Just yeah. keep it level until we get fast enough to fly, and then we'll pull the plane off. Maybe we'll five bravo, try to contact with our partners. Until we get to 65. Five bravo, try to stop on the yeah, 65, 70, <laughs> we'll be ready to fly. You'll feel the plane want to take off. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, so we just put a little forward pressure like that. Mm -hmm. And stay just outside of where the jets hit the ground there. All right, so we're at 70, yeah. 65. Okay, pull up. Go ahead, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay, now push forward a little bit. Uh-huh. And just hold it like that, right? Yeah. Where the mountains is. And then if you need to push the nose down to see the runway, we got to stay over the runway. Uh-huh. And we do that by either going this way or that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we fly at the same altitude until we get to the end of the runway? No, we no. we're climbing actually right now. We're going up 500 feet a minute. Uh -huh. and we're at 85 knots, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So just go ahead, you're doing good. We're going to go all the way down to about where those buildings are and then we're going to turn left. Okay, so okay. we're going to go on the full throttle all the time or until, until we, we get to the altitude? Yeah, until we get to 
to a cruising altitude, then we do a cruise check, which means we uh, adjust the power and the pitch of the plane. Uh -huh. Let's go straight ahead. It'll give us a frequency change. Now, are you having to hold back? Yeah. If you let go with the nose go down, uh -huh. let go once. Let's see. Ah, it's staying pretty good. Okay. That's this thing. All right. See, it, it's just perfect right now, so all you got to do is steer. Uh -huh. Nice, huh? Yeah. It's called trim. And we're trimmed for almost like 78 knots. Mm -hmm. You can move it forward just a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when you adjust that thing, it, it goes to the up or down? Right. Okay. Forward is down, backwards is up. All right, I see. And how do you turn it up? Watch. Let go. Let go. Okay. You can just kind of keep your hands around yeah, there. Yeah. But watch. If I blow this thing back, look down here. See? Watch what happens. See uh -huh. your nose going up? Yeah. If I roll it forward, the nose is going to go down. Uh-huh. See? I, so just yeah. kind of find the spot to keep you around 80 knots because this controls the speed. Uh -huh. If we pull back, we're going to slow down. Yeah. If we put the nose down, we're going to speed up. So we're at full power. Climbing out. Now we're at 1,700 feet. We're going to go to 18. Mm -hmm. So we're almost there. So let's start pushing the nose forward. Mm-hmm. 82 Fox, frequency change to Burbank, please. We're going to pass the bottle with Fox Rock. Roman 82 Fox Rock, contact Burbank. Yeah. Are we going to say it's 18 levels? Yes. All right. All right. So if it's, as we go faster, it's going to want to climb. So you can use this wheel. Mm-hmm. Stop fighting. As soon as we cross the, one, the 101 freeway here, I want you to turn left. Yeah, I want 16 4 10 one 5 Close take off. Right now, first pick up one five. Yeah, you can start your turn. Burbank Tower 82 Fox Drop off of Van Nuys 405 101 for the coin to pass. Burbank 82 Fox Drop for Bank Tower, Burbank Altimeter 2992. Mean at or below 2000, transition approved. At or below 2000, transition approved. 82 Fox Drop. So get back down to 1800. <laughs> See, as we speed up, it wants to climb. Southwest 4714, Burbank Tower, only 1-5, line up and wait. Okay, 1800. Yeah. And I pulled the power back to about 26 right okay, there. Burbank, uh, Diamond 30, 60, Fox, 3000. Now, does the plane want to go up or down? Do you want to go up? So push this thing forward a little bit. A little bit at a time. Yeah, there you go, that's right. So, so you don't feel it wanting to go up. Yeah. Now, now look. Are we going right? Yeah, we're going before we get to that. 
Yeah, Bob, we're going to go around it. Okay. Look at the bars. Is it in the center? Put a little to the right. 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 Put a little to
and let it sneak up there on you. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to turn around and go the other way, left. And go past downtown. Downtown. Make it a little sharper and pull a little back. Mm -hmm. Gotta stay away from Dodger Stadium. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Oh, we're gonna go all the way around. So we're going above the building? Yeah, we're good. You can turn sharper. Okay. There's a little more back pressure. Not much. Mm -hmm. Staple Center. Yeah, 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 I see. Let's go right yeah, up back down the freeway. Okay. Follow the freeway now, I'll stay on this side of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it, you're doing pretty good. Thank Some you. Some of those computer towers must have helped. That haze is from the moisture floating in from the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's not pollution, a lot of people think it's pollution, it's not pollution. Oh really? So it's just ocean? It's just marine layer, they call it. Oh. Because what happens is the land during the day gets really hot, mm -hmm. and so the air above it starts to cook, you mm -hmm. know, and gets condensed as water, like like you have a soda can outside on a hot day, mm -hmm. like that, so that's what happens. And let's head down to Hollywood now, we're far enough away, so let's go straight down towards Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Very good on your altitude? Yeah. That's good, I go straight ahead. Nice. 
Liberty Homes up in this area, mm -hmm. going up the hill. That golf course right there, that's LA Country Club. Very private, very expensive. About 250 US dollars to join. Really? 250,000. Wow. Okay. The hump way out there sticking out of the clouds, that's called Palos Verdes. Mm -hmm. The coastline goes all the way around that and then back down to Long Beach the other way. That way? Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. It's kind of out there. We're, we're going to go this way first. This street that we're following right here? Wilshire? That's Wilshire Boulevard. How long have you been here? A couple of years. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought you were just visiting. You thought you were visiting? Yeah, I didn't realize you knew the city that well. Would you like to see the Playboy Mansion? Uh, yeah. I would love to. Okay, let me take the plane for a minute. I got, okay. I got the aircraft. <laughs> All right. See the golf course down there? Yeah. All right. Along the golf course on this side, there's Aaron Spelling's Mansion, which is that great big thing with the circle in front, uh -huh. right off the wing. And then there's a White House, and there's another house, another house, which is the Bunny House. The last one before the trees with the chimneys, that's the Playboy Mansion. Uh -huh. See the grotto out back? Yeah. There's a oh, that one. You see the trampoline in the backyard? Uh -huh. Yeah, the last one before the trees. Greystone Manor. I'll circle around one time. So, yeah, the grotto is where you hear all the stories, all the crazy stuff happen. Uh -huh. That's in the back. Two bucks, are you uh, turning around? One circle around the Playboy Mansion, and then direct to the pit. Okay. So, the next house with the little swimming pool, uh -huh. that's where the Playboy Bunnies live. Playboy Bunnies? Yeah. That's the bunny house. The girls. Oh, the girls, yeah. You want the binoculars? <laughs> Okay, you can take the plane now, go right down Wilshire. Uh-huh. We can start descending very slowly. By the time we get to the ocean, we want to be around 800 feet. 800 feet? Yeah, but we want to stay at least 1,000 over the houses. Okay. So just a little bit, maybe three, 400 feet a minute. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a UCLA campus. Mm -hmm. Did you go to school here or no? No, no. What do you do? Uh, on digital advertising and online marketing. That big green spot is the Veterans Cemetery. Mm -hmm. That's the Veterans Center. What part of town do you live in? Oh. I'm in Marina Del Rey. Oh, well, that's right over there. You see where the yeah. water comes in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Marina Del Rey. Yeah. Nice. Your job must pay good. <laughs> Not cheap to live in Marina Del Rey. No, it's some places. Yeah, it's, it's not the cheapest one, but it's a nice area. Yeah, it's a really nice area. Yeah, it's like... Good view, close to the water. Yeah, Le less crowded than in Santa Monica. So if you look straight ahead, that's the Santa Monica Pier, see it? Uh-huh. So let's go a little bit to the left so we can circle around like this. Yeah. And then she can take a picture of it. Keep going down, though. Uh-huh. We can do go down to 1,000 feet okay. and then 800 after we cross. So, so is there a requirement to fly 1,800 feet above the ocean, or is it just... No. Well, the general rule, you can go down to 500 feet. Okay. But they, a lot of times, in this time of year, they got parasailers, and then, you know, with their parachutes, and they go down to, you know, like, they're as high as 300, 350 feet, so I can stay above 500 and watch mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's straighten it out a little bit. See the pier? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go past it and then turn, put the wing down, then she can take pictures of the pier. Mm -hmm. Good, we've got, you know, 300 feet to go. And this is Marina, right? Yeah, Marina Del Rey right there, yeah. where the water comes in. Yeah, I see. We should stay on the southern feet right now? Yeah, you're good. Just keep going down okay. to You can go down to 800 now. We're almost to the shoreline. Uh-huh. Keep the wings level. I'll show you. Keep going down to 800. So once we get over the ocean, we should be at 800 feet of your planet right. Mm -hmm. Not too steep. Keep going straight, don't turn yet. Mm -hmm. All right, 800. All right, so you level off at 800. And then, once we get even with the end of the pier, uh -huh. then we'll, we'll put the wing down and we'll turn up the coast. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And now she can take a picture. I just hold it right there. Okay. All right? Yeah. Just try to hold it right there. Look at the angle. And yeah. you hold that picture like a camera. Towers 
Citation 717 November, but we're ready. A lot of people are here today. Right there along that little, you put the wing 
down a little bit, right along this section right here. Up on the hill there, that's Pepperdine University. Mm -hmm. Nice place to go to college. Isn't this nice? It's kind of like a ride in the country, but up the coast, but the view is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, a lot better. This is a, lot, a really fun plane to fly. It's like a little sports car. Mm -hmm. it, it flies, re it's real sensitive to the flight controls and it, it gets around pretty fast. Is it sensitive to, to the, uh, like, the wind? The crosswind? Uh, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. You just gotta, yeah, handle it. You see where the, look down here, you see where the hill starts to go down, there's a house with a bunch of palm trees in the back? Yeah. That's Cher's house. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know who that is. Okay. Yeah, I know. You know who she is? Yeah. Singer. Yeah, singer, entertainer. Crazy lady. <laughs> nice though, but a little crazy. So what I want you to do now is I'm going to put the full throttle in. I want you to start climbing up to about 1,500 feet. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's 1,000 feet up. So start climbing. And then once we get established in our climb, and we can climb at about 90 knots. So mm -hmm. pull this back until we get to 90 knots. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, pull it back. And I said I, I should look at the vertical speed. You're no, it doesn't climb. matter. Okay. Vertical speed don't matter when you're going up. We're not going to overspeed anything. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Now I want you to turn 180 degrees to the right while you're climbing. So sustain the climb and watch your airspeed. That's good. No more than a 30 degree bank. That would be that line you're at right now. That's 10, 20, 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And we should stay in 90? Yeah, you stay in 90. I mean, you're... You let the nose drop a little bit, that's why we sped up. I want to go up to 1,500 feet, which are almost there. Almost. Yeah, but keep your turn and we're going to go right back over Pepperdine University. See it there? Yeah. And then we're going to turn left at 1,500 feet and fly through the canyon. Okay. So you have some fun. Let's have some fun, okay? Yeah. Pepperdine University, those buildings are the apple sticking uh -huh. up. Yeah. All right, stay at 1,500 feet. Okay. I'll back the power off a little bit. How long does it take to get to um, San Francisco? In this plane, you know, a couple of hours at the ball. Okay. I think it's 450 miles. And we can fly uh, 140, 50 miles an hour. Maybe more than that. Probably about a little over 2 hours, 15 minutes. Depending on where in San Francisco you're going. If you're going to, to the San Francisco International, it's probably 2 hours, 15 minutes, I'd say. Or Vegas, an hour and 40 minutes. Hour and 40 minutes to Vegas? In this thing, yeah. Well, that's a fun trip. Yeah? Yeah, if you want to go, let me know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ready? real? Yeah. It's about, it's a four hours, two hours, you know, about four and a half hours by the time you get taxi, take off, all that stuff mm -hmm. on the plane. If you stay overnight, you got to pay me, uh, plus get me a room. <laughs> that's it. That's all. So, so we can turn left to, to the canyon next? Yeah, we go over the canyon, uh -huh. and then turn left, and we'll stay at 1,500 feet, yeah. and we're going to follow Malibu Canyon Road. Are you ready? Yeah. How, is the plane trim so you don't have to worry with up and down? Uh -huh. Do you let go with the nose drop or come up? Mm -hmm. Let go. Oh, okay. Let's go about like that. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. As soon as you get past this, mm -hmm. start, you start your turn to the left. See the road? Yeah. Go right, follow the road. Go ahead. Make your left turn and use your rudder if you have to. And go straight right in the middle between the mountains. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a sharp left when we get to the mountains and then a sharp right. Alright? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you got plenty of room. I'll help you if you get in trouble. So we stay in 1500, right? Yeah, otherwise it's no fun. <laughs> we can just fly over the top, that's no fun. But you're diving pretty fast now, so okay. pull back just a little bit. Wait for your turn. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. Alright, now you can go around the corner and follow it. And you can turn it pretty steep if you have to. And use the left foot. Bring it around. 
There you go. All right, as soon as you get around the corner now, straighten it out. Okay. And turn to the right. No? Yep. Oh, yeah, you don't want to hit the mountain. <laughs> you do. All right, there you go. You're good. <laughs> That's what you call canyon flying. All right. Around 1500 feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go out that way a little bit and show you. Want to see a couple celebrity homes? Yep. Oh, you see those little uh, houses in a group right there? Yeah. That's Malibu Promises where your celebrities go to dry out for their drugs and alcohol. Oh, Ryan's Canyon? Yeah. Malibu Promises, it's called. Oh, so. All right. And go straight ahead and stay around 1500. And I used to fly Robert Downey Jr. for a while, and he was filming in Catalina, so I'd pick him up there every day. He's a nice guy, super nice guy. Alright, we're going to go straight for a minute. Mm -hmm. I want you to see another celebrity home would be Will Smith's house. It's really crazy, it's down on this side. I got the plane for a minute, mm -hmm. and I'll show you. Alright, you don't have to worry about hitting the mountain. Alright, look down here. That's Will Smith's house. He's got a tennis oh, court, swimming pool. Uh -huh. You know, he's got his own lake, party parking lot. He's got the guest quarters with their own swimming pool over here. Wow. He's got an island in the lake. He's got little paddle boats. You know, he's got a helicopter pad, volleyball court, hot tub, his own private pool. Not there a lot. Nice, huh? It's like a castle. Yeah. Well, it's not like a castle because it's, it's more like... Um, Compound. <laughs> it's like, there's a trampoline. You know, it's, it's pretty much one story, you know. Alright, you got the plane. Just keep this right here. Mm -hmm. No higher. Fly over towards those houses on the top of that hill. Just keep them off the side. Mm -hmm. There's four weird houses there. They're all different designs. And they're, you know, probably $25 million homes mm -hmm. or up. But there's one. The end one looks like it's a factory or something. I don't know why they built that one. It's this one? The next one looks like, you know, more of an American-style home or more maybe Scandinavian a little bit. Who owns it? Oh, no. Rich people. Very wealthy people. Then, if you turn a little bit this way, uh -huh. you see that next one, that it's kind of like a Norwegian castle in the trees. And then the other one, you can tell that's a Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. You know, there's four different houses on that ledge. All architectural different. Go this way for a while now. Just stay about 2,000 feet if you can. Mm -hmm. So pull back a little bit. There you go. Kardashians live up here on the hill right here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, my son taught Bruce how to fly his uh, remote control helicopters. You ever watch the Osbournes? Uh, no. Uh, never mind, then I won't take you past there. Let's see what the aegis is. 2,000 feet. Mm -hmm. Atlanta Golf, 0151 Zulu, wind 1406, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 27, dew point 14, altimeter 2991, ILS runway 16 right approaching east, landing in the parking lot, right 16 right. What's the area? Calabasas. Oh, it's Calabasas. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Especially on the top up there. It's all gated community. Yeah. A lot of celebrities live up in there. Alright, let's, let's try a couple of things. we got a little, little time left, so I want you to climb up to about 3,000 feet now mm -hmm. and head over those mountains. A little bit to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll use this thing. How about like that? Okay. Put, uh, put, put that arrow in the middle, Victor, and then straight down. Mm -hmm. 26771 Victor, Van Iron's Towering at a right base, 2116 right, report Cal State, or are you just continuing? Are you going to Whiteman? 27 Victor, transition approved eastbound, 118 Prue is approved. I beam the VA, contact Whiteman Tower, 135.0. 27167. We changed tanks. I have to switch over to this tank because this one is getting a little heavier on your side, mm -hmm. even though there's two of us on this side. And we usually turn on the electric pump 
Just to, just for safety, when we switch tanks. Okay. That's what we did. For how long? Uh, just uh, maybe a minute. So it starts drawing fuel from the other tank. Mm -hmm. Just safety precaution. Let's go a little bit farther to the left and I'll move this over a little bit more. Uh, that's Simi Valley right over the top there. Mm -hmm.
just go right down the street. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down here. This is called the base leg. And then when we turn right to land going this way, mm -hmm. that's called the final approach. Mm -hmm. Keep going down. You see those white stripes that go across? 
right, and yeah. we'll go on to 4,600. We're still high. Not too steep. We're good. We kind of angle down. See how it's turning red, the far one? Yeah. All right, when it turns red, that means we're on the glide slope. Mm. We're doing good now, but you have to stay in the middle. So it looks at our speed, uh, height, and... Uh, Everything's good. Okay. This tech guy's waiting to take off, so... Mm -hmm. We'll get on the ground. We want to see where it says one six with the R. Uh, we want to be just above the ground before that line. Mm -hmm. I'll use the pedals to keep it even, and you use this mm -hmm. to keep us in the middle, okay? Yeah. See, just keep the nose wheel right over that line. All right. So now we get right down to the ground, mm -hmm. and we gently pull the nose up. See, we're a little fast, and there's no headwind. Uh -huh. So we got 8,000 feet. So let's just hold the nose off like that. Mm -hmm. Pull it off. Okay. All right. Then we don't want to go up. Level or down. Yeah. Okay. Put the wheel down. Other wheel. All right. And we push the brakes a little bit, but we hold the nose up. Like that. And we follow this yellow line with uh -huh. a little bit of pedal. Okay. Now you're down from Lima. Traffic exit in the downfield. Wind calm. Under one six right. Clear for takeoff. Congratulations. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, one six right. November six eight five. I'm at two five shot. Ground point seven. Good day. See ya. When you push the left pedal, you go to the left, right? Right. No. I'll show you right now. Let's see here. Let me just call the ground. And how do you brake? You push both pedals? Both time? pedals together. The top of it. Not okay. like this. Yeah. But like that. All right. Then I ground a two five shot off at the hotel for the northwest corner. Coming a two five shot Venice ground. Text northwest corner of the Alpha. The yeah, Alpha. All right, so uh, put your feet on the pedals and hold this straight. Do not turn that. Mm -hmm. Hold it straight, but use your pedals to steer. Okay. All right, so what you do is you hold your feet even. Yeah. All right, and then you tap this or that All right. to stay on the line. I'm going to slow us down just a little bit, mm -hmm. make it a little easier. Okay? I'm going to yeah. let you do it. Left foot, mm -hmm. left foot. Yeah, I, I press it. Not that way, just the top part. Oh, I got it? Yeah. See that? It's yeah. too it's too dimensional. Oh. Okay. okay, now the right one. Uh -huh. Let's get back on the line. Yeah. So you can use the right one to get over a little bit. This uh -huh. doesn't do anything. It's hard to train your brain to not do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. I want to take my feet off. All right, a little left. Just tap it. You don't ride it. Just tap it. See? Uh -huh. Just tap it. Oh, Put, okay. Yeah, go to the right. you got to stay on that yellow line. On the line. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, I got it now. But this doesn't do anything. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, let go of that. Just let go of it. Let go. All right. Because it's hard to train your brain not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it starts going one way. You want to go like this, okay? Uh -huh. But it doesn't do any good. You have to use your foot. See? Yeah. Right. Just pretend you have to steer without your hands. Everything on the ground is down with your feet. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to try not to ride the brakes and burn them out, but just to tap them to keep you going in the right direction. Okay. Good job. Okay, you got it now. Got to stay on the line. Are you okay back there? <laughs> Watch where you're going. We gotta stay. Don't think we're drunk up there or something. <laughs> Good taxi speed. Mm -hmm. Just tap them and keep us in the middle. Don't worry about this. You know. Actually, when you learn to fly, when you're taxiing, the idea is to hold this way straight so the wind doesn't get underneath the wings and flip the plane over. Mm -hmm. So, but it's hard for people to do that at first mm -hmm. because they're so used to driving a car yeah. that when it starts to go this way, they're going to go like this. You know. Mm -hmm. If you can hold it, that's fine. We're, we have the wind behind us now. So we pull back a little bit so the wind can't affect us. But this stays straight. Mm -hmm. Keep going straight. When we get up to this next fork, we're going to turn left. Okay. All right? Yeah. Slow down a little bit. To follow the line? Yeah, but we should slow down a little bit around the corner. So you push both of them even. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. Just slow us down. And just follow the yellow line to the left. Mm -hmm. More left. Going around the corner. Yeah, just keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. And then watch out for Jay in the cart there. Mm -hmm. All right. Go over this way a little bit.
loves it. Okay. Savan. He sees us. Stay in the middle line. Let's slow down a little bit. So use both your feet to slow us down. Mm -hmm. But stay, still steer with your feet. Keep on the line. Move it this way. Base is limited. And our, we're not this one, but we're the next one. Okay. Keep rolling. You can still roll. Just take your feet off. Use your right foot to stay in the middle there. Good. All right. So now you want to turn down here and just to the right. Go let, let it go. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. Not too sharp or you hit the wing on the building there. Okay. Alright. All right. And just to the right of the storm drain because of the cars parked there. Just to the right, right about here. Alright, okay, just go ahead and taxi it all the way down. Uh -huh. As we get past that Cessna there, we'll stop. Mm -hmm.